If you're watching this video, you've likely had a spiritual awakening experience, you're on the ascension path, and you want to do whatever you can do to help assist in that process, the process of expanding your consciousness. Now, when we start to go through this process, we start to become aware of what's happening. We start to realize that on a cellular level, our physical body is changing, our consciousness is expanding, we're opening ourselves up to multidimensional experiences. In fact, you are multidimensional, but and you're starting to realize that you're opening up to that fact. Well, you need to walk through the darkness in order to clear the space to be able to anchor and embody more of your higher self. Now, that can seem really, really scary. I work with people all the time and they really seem to resist the darkness. It's always about avoiding it or finding something to distract themselves from it. And that right there can really just put a kink in your process and slow you down. We are here to experience the density. Now, as we've, you know, we were younger, we were growing up, we experienced trauma. Maybe you have trauma from other lifetimes that you are clearing and healing right now. That needs to be experienced and needs to be processed. But how do we, how do we do that? Well, think of these traumas as aspects of you that are afraid. They're just afraid. They've taken some of your energy and they've run into the corner. It's like that little child that takes the ball and runs away, right? They're hiding. Where though? They're hiding within your body, within your physical vessel. And they are creating an environment of an imbalanced state. Now that manifests energetically and that manifests physically. Physically, it can manifest as aches and pains and illness and chronic disease and things like that. And emotionally, that manifests as anxiety, stress, fight or flight, fear, overthinking, those types of things. Those are all symptoms of this trauma that is just hidden away in your body, holding on to your energy. It's probably why you feel fatigued or tired most of the time. It's probably why you lack energy, lack motivation, and can never sustain any momentum on your path because you just don't have that energy available. These traumas, these aspects of you, these soul fragments that have been traumatized are like holding that energy. It's like they've stolen it from you. So we go through the healing process and we reclaim that energy. We bring it back into the mix. And each time you do that, you gain more of your energy back. That's called soul integration. You're finding these aspects of you that were traumatized and you're bringing them back into the mix. You're integrating them back in. And when you do that, you reclaim that energy. You actually rise in frequency. And when that happens, more consciousness becomes available to you. You become more conscious. You become more aware. You actually rise in frequency. You allow or create an environment for more of your higher self, more of your soul's energy to drop in and move through your body. And all of those amazing gifts and and experiences and memories, all the multidimensional stuff that everybody's searching for starts to come back online, it starts to become available to you. Your DNA starts to unlock, right? Because you've created an environment for it to happen. There's more space within your body. It can start to vibrate faster, right? So it's no longer frozen. Energy is no longer stuck. Once that happens, you start to just open up. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I want all the goodness, all that amazing stuff. I've had some experience. I've connected with my guides briefly. It's hard to sustain that. I want to get back to that. I want to I want to feel that again. I just want to go there. Forget about the dark stuff. I'm going to do what it takes to avoid it, right? That's a lot of people that I work with. That's how they, they come to me and they start out with that mindset. I just need to avoid that. I want to go to the good stuff, the exciting stuff, right? Stuff we put a label on. It's the expansiveness. I want my third eye to light up. I want to be able to perceive the energy and auras. I want to be able to communicate with my star guides. I want to be able to tap into my intuition and find my path. Those are all aspiring. They're just amazing goals, right? And those are all possible with an expansion of your consciousness. The issue that most run into is that they go try to get to the results without navigating the process. You came here to dive into this density and to experience 
all of the dense energy. This is the only place in the universe that you can do it. That's why you're here. Why would you want to avoid it? I know it doesn't feel good, right? We create a label, we put a label on it, and we judge it. It's bad. We only want the good. Well, I'm here to tell you that everything that you seek, everything that you're looking for, is through that darkness. When you could commit and dive into that darkness, that emotional baggage, and allow yourself to just feel it, experience it, that's why you came. You will start to reclaim that energy. And as you do, you become more whole. More whole means that you have more of your multidimensional essence available to you. And you have the awareness of it. So things start to really open up for you. Your third eye comes online. Your intuition, your creativity. You start to feel a loving, joyful, abundant presence. It's all within you. You just haven't been able to find it because you've been afraid to feel the darkness. Remember, the darkness are just aspects of you that have been traumatized that are cowling in the corner. And as they're cowling, they're taking your energy. They're stealing your energy away. We want to invite them back in. We want to allow them to be seen. So we hold the space. We can do this through breath work to allow that energy to be seen, to be felt. We don't avoid it. And as you continue to walk that path, your divine path will illuminate right beside you and right in front of you. We'll start to connect with your intuition. You will connect with your soul. You will know why you're here and you will know what drives you, what really helps to raise your frequency, raise your vibration and make you feel joy. And you'll be able to start taking action steps towards those emotional states. And your reality will start to reflect that. It's the fear of the darkness. It's a fear of the trauma that is holding you back. I remember years ago, there was a movie, M. Night Shyamalan, The Village. And in that movie, um, the elders wanted to cut off this village from modern society. So all the youngsters were afraid to go through the woods, to go into the woods. And the elders created some sort of a monster that they would dress up as to really keep that fear alive. That kept all the youngsters who were inquisitive and who were curious from going into the forest. Now, why did they do this? Well, because beyond the forest lies the modern world, the amazing world, okay? There were airplanes and cars and all sorts of amazing things that these children that were stuck in this village because their own fear was holding them back, they were never able to perceive these things. So when we look at new earth manifesting, think of new earth as lying beyond the forest and there's fear in place and this fear, it's your traumas. It's the things, the dense energy that, that creates anxiety and fear and overthinking. All of that energy is what is your monster, right? It could be reptilian, draconian, however you want to term it, right? When you look outside, there's things that create fear that prevent you from finding your light. Just like this monster in the woods kept all of these innocent children at bay from finding the expansiveness of the human society. Okay, new earth lies beyond that forest, right? So you need to be able to walk into the forest and face the fears. And in that movie, that's exactly what the children did. They got through the forest and they were able to experience this entirely new reality. That's the only way forward. If you continue searching for the stuff that makes you feel good all the time and pushing or resisting away the dense energy, you're not going to be able to elevate your frequency. You're going to continue to stay locked in in a bandwidth, and that's going to continue to draw your energy, suck your energy like an energy vampire, keep you scared, 
and keep you really feeling safe because your ego thinks that this scared little bubble is home. Just like that village, that village, they had this fear of everything outside that village. That village made them feel safe. It was home until they decided to step into that forest and overcome their fear. And they walked through it and embraced their fear. And they did it anyways. Don't run from your own darkness. These are aspects of you that are begging to be seen, begging to be reclaimed, and begging to be loved. Do that. Make a commitment to that. And your world will change in amazing ways. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. I'd be so grateful. Thank you.